Welcome back to the career mode, episode 15 I believe, the biggest game of the season is here, Bayern Munich away in the Champions League. The episode after this one, so probably tomorrow's episode, will be an uncut live episode for you on the first of every month, something to look forward to for you there. But we're going to dive straight into this with a game against Southampton, if you go on to enjoy the video, leave it a like down below, 100 likes would be unreal, if you're new make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. And I say all the time, leave a comment as well, because I read all the comments, I reply to all the comments, so I really appreciate that. We are currently fourth in the league with the game in hand, not too bad. Southampton are, wow, rock bottom. Okay, this should be a piece of, I can't say. It. In terms of the team, I wouldn't mind playing a few of the new lads, actually. Listen, Van Dyke, I love him as much as you do, but he just plays every single game. I want to mix it up a tad with a bit of Gomez or Canate. We're going to go for Canate. He plays the least out of the four. Just to give him a game, alright? The main man Fabinho is going to come back into the 11 after a long spell out and we're going to go for this formation here which does not look too bad at all. This is a pretty much full 11 bar Salah and Bellingham. I'm so excited. Honestly, for next season, we've got everyone fit is going to be unreal. And also, we've had no injuries as of late, so I'm excited for this. People were asking about the world class setting. World class with sliders is actually the hardest setting you can go to. It's harder than ultimate apparently. It just gives a more realistic game feel. That's it. Come on boys, I would be terrified if I was playing against this team by the way. A midfield pivot of Valverde and Fabinho. Also, Valverde's won it back. We need to remember we've got Bayern Munich in the third game so I reckon, you know, the more players we rest, obviously the better. And Robertson's in here. This is becoming quite easy. Into the box. Simple goal here. Thank you. 1-0. Bit of a fortunate way that fell to me then, but listen, I'm not expecting two or three goals today, I'm expecting four, five, even six. These are bottom of the league, rock bottom. We've got our first 11 out today. Can we find a bit of space? There we can. Federico Valverde, finish it! Boom! It's debut goal! Not debut goal, but it's a, it's a first goal for Federico Valverde. And my god, does he deserve that. Actually, I'm wrong, he scored in his debut. What am I on about? He scored every game he's played. It's unbelievable. This guy is so good. The way he found that position there and just darted in. He's won it back again. Uh, it's unbelievable, man. He's so good. We're in again. We've won it back. Jota's in. Jota. I'm going to take this on my own, I think. Left foot. Great save from Alex McCarthy. Corner in from Trent. What can we do from here? Matip's going to meet this. Joel Matip! Come on! My favourite player gets his goal and he's going to run the length of the pitch. That's a goal for Matip, it's a goal for Van Dijk. All we need now is a goal for Canate, and that part of the checklist is done, although the checklist is failed. But it is always nice to try and complete it anyway. Someone actually commented and said, the checklist actually is still doable. Because if I get either Everton or Man United in the cup, that's technically winning the derby. It technically is, he's right. So, you know, every chance, we just need to fingers crossed we get Man United or Everton in the cup. Imagine that. And we're in again here. It's unbelievable, this. We're running riot. Diaz, finish this. Jota, listen, it's 4 and after 34 minutes. I said this would be 4 or 5. Didn't mean in the first half, though. Liverpool run riot here. This is like against Bournemouth in real life. And that should be half-time. Liverpool go into the second half 4-0 up. Pretty routine stuff at home here. Look at that. Expected goals of 3. They've not had a shot yet. I'm going to bring on some of these lads. Why not? Trent can be rested for. Calvin Ramsey making his first Premier League appearance of the year. Carvalho can come on for Luis Diaz. Jota is probably the... Yeah, he definitely has the least fitness out of a lot of them. So, the young lad Curtis. I believe it's Henry Curtis can come on. Our academy lad. Frimpong can come on. You know what? Why not? Let's see if he's a right winger. He's not been a right back for me so far. But with that pace, we could see if he can do a job kind of there. Uh, someone like Jordan Henderson can come on for Valverde, who's been playing a lot of minutes recently, and that's where we'll leave it for now. Just to get some new faces coming, really, you know, Curtis making his Premier League debut, I believe, uh, Calvin Ramsey making his Premier League debut, that's exciting, and whilst that Bayern Munich game is next week, it's still around the corner, so, you know, risking an injury is just the last thing I want. We've been really lucky with injuries recently, actually, like, really lucky. Considering we had, like, four in a row, we've not had any as of late. Go on then, find him. Jeremy Frimpong is offside, isn't he? What a finish though. It's a goal! It was onside! Bang! Frimpong finding his new position. You know, landed on his feet there, really. Wow, that's taken me by surprise, that one has, to be honest. You never know, Frimpong could be the new Mohamed Salah. We could have found a new gem here. I have not found success with this guy at all. We have not agreed. I don't think he can defend, to be honest. It is refreshing to get a nice, comfortable result list, you know, for confidence, because we have been scraping wins every single game. West Ham, 
I believe Forrest we scraped a bit of a win there. It was not pretty at all. No, whoa, that was close. I just want to say, I've got no idea why we've got... I'm trying to work this out. Leal's on the pitch and so is Carvalho. I thought... Is Leal playing left back? He is. Well, <laughs> I don't know how that's happened. You've probably noticed that for a while and I've just been sat here playing with Leal left back. And I noticed it then when they're both attacking down the left. I was like, what's going on? And there's the win. 5-0 to Liverpool. It was 4 in the first half. It was over in the first 20 minutes. And that was an expected and deserved win about time as well player returns from injury it just gets better Jude Bellingham is back come on with a bang Salah transfer over for Man City why do Man City want Salah and Trent player returns from injury Salah returns from injury this is the best episode of all time wow what a massive confidence boost that is so you're telling me before the Bayern Munich game we've got to decide between Bellingham Valverde Fabinho Thiago how are we going to do that? I'm so excited for this career mode, honestly. I really hope you share the excitement with me. I'm really excited for this. But before the talked about buying game, we've got Forrest, I believe, away. Uh, yeah, actually, Forrest are 18. I've just checked, actually, haven't I? We just checked before. Forrest are crap. This should be another routine win for Liverpool. But let's not get too confident. Also, quickly, I'm liking the formation. The 4-2-3-1 has been a positive switch. Absolutely brilliant for me. Um, in terms of the team here, Salah and Bellingham are going to be back for the next game. Kvitschka, you know, he's not had much game time recently. I feel sorry for him, to be honest. He's progressing nicely, though. I do like using him, you know, when he's available. And I'm looking at this team here. I'm thinking, God, we've got a lot of players. I'm also considering, you know, in the future. These two, 30 years old. Firmino's not getting any younger. Salah's not getting any younger. Thiago's like, going to be 32, 33 next year. So we've definitely done the right thing and invested. In this game against Nottingham Forest, Jota starts. Leao is going to come out for Kvitschka Kvaraschkelia. As I was just saying, I want to be using him more. Yeah, Thiago can play. He never played in the last game, did he? And then Kostas Simikas is going to come in for a game and rest Robertson. I don't want him going down injured for the next game. Diaz, perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with this team. Cavallio, Elliot, Ramsey move on to the bench. Let's play football. Here we go. Can we carry on from that amazing result against Southampton here? I want to win. I want three points and maybe three goals, to be honest. That's a great ball. Is he onside? Jota outside the boot if he can. He's just gone for it. He's just gone for it with his right and it's gone in. Come on. Early on, four minutes into the game and Jota finds the back of the net. And that was so easy. So easy, man. Once again, these are 18th, 19th in the league. It was always going to be a win this. And you know, it's not over yet. We're only four minutes in, but... That looks like early signs of what's to come, to be honest. I don't know about you, but after that Liverpool performance last night against Leeds, I'm loving playing this career mode. I hope you're enjoying watching it as well, because this is how Liverpool should be being run. Money thrown at the club in midfield. Actually buying players. Players actually playing well. Firmino! Oh, you know, I wish we had the form. Someone commented on my TikTok. Um, I wish we had the Firmino of the career mode rather than the Firmino in real life. And I do agree, this guy has hit serious form in this career mode. Although in real life, he has been bagging to be fair, so yeah, steady on. Firmino's going to hit this though, he's got a bit of room. Firmino, oh my god. Oh, Firmino! What a goal! The form player, and they're going to do some cringy celebration, which I love, by the way. That was a bit, yeah, that was a, on the edge, that one. But what a goal this was. Throw in, Luis Suarez-esque, cuts in. Just think, I'm going to bang this, you know, he, he uses confidence right now, Firmino. And he bags another goal and adds another goal to his tally. I believe he is our top scorer by at least double now. He is flying at the moment. He surely has to play against Bayern Munich. He surely has to play. What do you all reckon? Leave it in the comments. That arguably is one of our goals of the season so far, along with the Thiago goal and along with the Valverde goal from last episode as well. I think they're probably our top three. They might be in here. If I've missed any, let me know. What's happened? What's going on? What's going on, ref? Referee, make it clear. Make it clear to me. It's a it's a foul. It was offside or something. Oh, they found a bit of room here with Aoyani. What can they do? What can they muster up? Can we equal to it? Oh, that's a nice pass. That's completely tomfooled me. And Trent wins that. That should be half time. This gives me the opportunity to rest as well for that massive game coming up next. I cannot stress how big this game is. Bayern Munich away. If we get a win here, you know, knowing that we've got three points going into the home game... I'd back us every faith. And I want the Champions League more than the Prem. I really do. I love that competition. In terms of resting for this half, Thiago... Who, who, who are we going to play against Bayern? Let's do that. That's the easier way. Um, Valverde's going to play against Bayern. He's been absolutely brilliant so far. So he's going to come off for Henderson. Leal can come on just for fresh legs for Diaz. 
Um, let's use him a bit, put him on the left there. Jota, I think, has to come off. I don't know if I want to play Jota against Bayern. I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal is there. We're going to bring Curtis on. Elliot is going to come on for Thiago in more of a, a midfield role, a deeper role. And then again, I'm going to bring Ramsey on for Trent. Listen, it's just for that big game. I would never usually bring half my team off at half-time, but I'm really nervous about injuries because them injuries this year have hit us like a truck. Uh, you know, when we're not expecting them either. Players just go down left, right and centre. And we've had a goal from Arsenal. It's 5-0 to Arsenal in real life. Can you believe that? 5-0. Forest beat us 1-0, by the way. Can I just say that? Joke. Simicast on this game should have way better stats than he does. Like, in terms of crossing, his crossing in this game is tragic. But in real life, he's a brilliant cross of the ball. If anyone's new to the career mode, by the way, this lad up front is called Curtis. He is like 64 rated, he has about 90 physical, 5 star weak foot, like 5 star skills I think, I don't know, but he's unreal, like his stats are unbelievable. And he's onside here, let's get his first goal for the career mode, he scuffs his shot. Simicass wins it back, he's been great today. Firmino to Curtis, shoot if you can, just wide. Henderson with the ball in, to Van Dijk! Oh. Elliot, bang! Oh, I believe they haven't had a shot yet. You know, we're not even getting challenged. I don't know where the scoreboard's gone in the top left. I just noticed it's just completely glitched out. I was thinking then, playing the bottom two teams in the league is a blessing and a curse, really, because one, we're getting that confidence. You know, we're, we're battering these teams. But two, are we going to go to Bayern and be like a shock to the system because we've just been all over these two teams. Playing against the... There's a goal from Henderson off the post and in with his first goal of the year. Wow, that interrupted me. Um, yeah, we're going to go against Bayern. They were a top European side. And it'll be like, I don't know, stepping outside into freezing weather, you know what I mean? That was a really bad analogy, but I was trying to say they're better than these. So it'll be a shock to the system, that's what I was trying to say. Which I should have just said that anyway. I'm going to stop talking now. Firmino's won it back. Poaching like stealing candy off a baby! Come on, the form player scores every game he plays in. And what a finish that was, by the way. Look at this. Look at that, hello, look over there. Bang, interception. Just cracks one. Now, that's a great finish as well. Firmino makes these things happen by himself. Come on, I love this man. That's 4-0 to Liverpool and that's full-time. That is 9-0 on aggregates against the last two teams who are bottom of the table. That is what we can do. We can put teams to bed in the first half. Well, put games to bed. That was definitely the wrong analogy used. Come on. Here we go. Bayern Munich. Arguably, I would say the third favourite to win. I'd go Man City, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. Arguably. I'm so excited for this. Pre-match conference has to be done. This is it, lads. I'm there. I've rarely changed clothes in this. Uh, in that grey overjumper. Can we expect something different from the team? To be honest, it'll be another tough game. I'd actually say it'll be another game. You know, it's not even going to be tough, this. We are coming in on form. Is this a close game to call? I think we can do it. We are coming in this game with arguably the most on-form player in the world in Bobby Firmino. Might Bayern Munich get the better of you? We've got to respect them, obviously. We know what they're about. They're an established European side who have won the competition before. But I'm not feared. I am the best up-and-coming manager in the world. And they have Calvert-Lewin up front. <laughs> May as well hand us the win now. Calvert-Lewin, what a weird signing that is. Look how good their team is. The Lick Davies, Kimmich. So it's a Goretzka. Mane back at Liverpool. Wow, Mane, Muller, Nabry, and Calvert-Lewin up front. What a donkey. How weird is that? You're all asking what the team's going to be, and I'm going to tell you. I love this graphic, by the way. The dark blue is just amazing. Allison starts in goal for us. Right back is going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold. We know what this guy can offer for us. He's only been improving this season as well. He's only going to get better for us. Joel Matip is going to keep his place. Van Dijk's going to keep his place, and so is Robertson. That back five is unchanged. Midfield two, for, uh, Valverde is going to play, and this player here, for me, is going to be Fabinho and not Thiago. And the reason for that is, you know, I don't want to come in the game and try and nick a goal at the start. I want to see how the game's going and have someone in there if it all breaks down just to win the ball back. Just behind Jota up front is going to be Firmino, the form player, the most on-form player in the world, by the way. Diaz off the right today and then Leao off the left, both of which have five-star weak foot, which is pretty cool now. The bench looks like this. Henderson, Harvey Elliott, Thiago, Canate and Gomez, Frimpong and Kvitschka, Kvaraschkelia. This is the big one, lads. If you're enjoying the video so far, leave it a like. If you like the video now, we will win this game. We will win this game. It takes you two seconds, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into this. Come on. I'm going to turn the game sound up just for this bit here. Come on. What a stadium that is. 
the champions. Right, here we go. Let's turn it down. Let's not get carried away here. Oh, I'm buzzing. I just want to watch this. I just want to watch it and absorb the atmosphere. I hope you're ready at home. This is it. Bang! Let's get into this. Come on, Liverpool. Calvert-Lewin, I can't believe that. What a donkey. If he scores, I'll be fuming. Giving it away straight back to us. They're playing a very high press straight off the bat. Wow, okay. Okay, we need to deal with this, boys. We need to deal with this. We cannot let Mane... You know, M Mane is definitely the threat that's been identified. We cannot let him get in behind at all. I'm going to just keep the fullbacks back, I think, at this point. I don't want to commit too many men. Go on, then. Leao, please finish this. Leao, no! I think he was offside, though. He wasn't offside. He was on side. Wow. First chance goes to Liverpool. Seven minutes in, Leao. I think you've got to do better there. You've got to at least hit the target there for me. This game is just going all over the place. It's end-to-end -end at the moment. And they are in here, actually. Matip. Can we get a tackle in, boys? That's just enough. That's not a foul. That's just enough from Van Dijk. This game is like ping-pong. Come on, boys. Keep a level head. Firmino's finding a bit of room in there, you know, I've noticed. Look at Robertson go. Look at Robertson's gone. Fabinho can find him. Pinpoint. See, we're going to the Allianz and keeping the ball. I like this. Chances are going to arise from this. Jota to Firmino. Oh, I should have cracked one then. My fault. My fault. I should have cracked one. On the phone, Firmino's in as well. I absolutely should have hit one there. He just scored a worldy last game as well. Robertson wins it back. Line if he can. Loads of room. Robertson, that little ball roll works so well. Fan Jota in the box. Finish it! Crap ball. Try and turn. Make something happen if he can. He has as well. He absolutely has. Leo into the box to Jota. Goal! 1-0 Liverpool. A dream start here at the Alliance. Liverpool take the lead in the round of 16. Wow. That's not a foul. That's not a foul. I've won the ball. That's soft. No. 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 Mane equalises. Awful concentration there. And I said the man for them to watch was Sadio Mane. How can he do this against us? How can he do this against us? Mane. That's one all. Head screw back on now. That was so simple. That was from a free kick. Which wasn't even a free kick, can I just add? I literally came away with the ball, but it's fine. We move now. Go on, give it back. Firmino. Mr. On Form, hit that! Yes! He's done it! Swift reply, Spencer FC. Hashtag Swift reply. Firmino, the most on form player in the world, is going to do his weird celebration. Nice little one-two there with uh, Jota and Diaz. Jota beats that man there as that delict. And then what a goal. Poor goalkeeping. You got a save from Manuel Neuer. You'd expect better there. And that is a hashtag swift reply from Firmino. He scores in every game. We can always rely on this guy. I love him in this game, honestly. That's offside. If he's not, we're in trouble. If he's not, we're in trouble. If he's not, we're in trouble. We're in trouble! You've got to mark him there. You've got to do better in the box. Firstly, Trent's letting go. Trent's in... Alice in Wonderland there. What's he doing? And that's a simple header. And Matip and Van Dijk haven't even contested for that one. It's disappointing. And it's right before half-time. We're on the 44th minute there from Goretzka. I can't believe that's just happened. And Jota's just got to keep going here. Jota, what can he do? Jota. That's disappointing right before half time and it's 2-2 at half time. What a thriller at the Allianz. I'm not going to change anything but we just know now what a threat they are from especially like set pieces and over the top balls. Mane, the pace of Mane really did ruin us there. We need to defend better against him. Maybe if it's bring on Joe Gomez at right back or something. I don't know what's going on but Trent just cannot handle him really. Look at that overlap there, Robertson. It was coming. I said it was coming. Kimmich, get into him. No, 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 they've won a lucky deflection there. Get it out. That's a crap ball from uh, Kimmich there. And they have overexposed. Their right back has gone up the pitch. And Leal can capitalise on this, hopefully. Just go. Just go. You've got the pace. You're like the quickest man on the team. Look at this. You've got them for dead. Find in the box for Jot in their post. Goal! Come on! Hashtag misery compiler. Come on. I have been watching the Wheel of Fortune. That is why I'm giving all these Spencer FC references. I love it, honestly. And that is a massive goal. Jota, five goals in four matches up there as well, you can see. And I'm not surprised. He's been amazing for us recently. And it's 3-2 to Liverpool. Come on, let's get another goal. This game has gone Liverpool, them, Liverpool, them, Liverpool. So that means their goal is coming. Let's just get another one. Let's find a cushion. I like this, you know. Can we find Jota? We can. Fabinho's in there. Fabinho. Oh, Firmino. 
Oh, a good save! A good save. 68 minutes in, we're going to try and just... I don't know, maybe shake something up. If you look at these four players here, they are actually on really low fitness. I don't know why. I think it's because this game's been so end-to-end. -end. So Thiago's going to come on, a bit of stability. If we had Salah on the bench, I'd think about bringing Firmino off. Listen, we'll bring Kovicka on for... I really do think Leao. I think we bring him on for Leao. Can the man on form for Napoli in real life grab us a goal here? We've got a corner though. We know what we've been like from corners. We have been amazing from these corner kicks recently. And Robertson's going to put in an in-swinger. Can we get a misery compiler here? We can. Jota. Oh my god. Valverde, Federico. Good save from Neuer. I can't get hold of him. I can't get near them. Matip can though. Boom. Come on, let's get forward. Go. You've just come on. You've just come on. You're up against Kimmich. Every day of the week. Every day of the week. Go on. Kvitschka, Kvitschka, There's Yes! The young lad from Georgia has done it. I've skipped the replay. I'm sorry. That is the two-goal cushion we so desperately needed. Come on, Liverpool. Calvert-Lewin still on the pitch. He has been a donkey for them today, by the way. He's been awful. We have been nothing short of excellent today. You know, we put up an awful performance against West Ham two episodes ago. An awful performance against, I think it was someone like Wolves or something. We just scraped a win. And this is back to the Liverpool we know and love. Luis Diaz, just shoot, why not? Oh, I love that, he's challenging, you know, he's making Neuer work. Can we hold on now? A two-goal advantage going into a home tie is a massive, massive confidence booster. You know, look at that overlap there. Look at this. Robertson finds someone in the box if he can. He's gone for a weird shot, what the hell was that? And don't forget as well, we'll be going into that home game with Salah and Bellingham in the back pocket as well, hopefully. You know, that is if no players get uninjured. But let's just try and not concede here. Come on, a goal against could be massive, you know, actually. A goal against could be massive. No, boys. No, 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 no. Calvert-Lewin, he's got the ball back. It's poorly cleared. Get this out now. Come on. That's it. That's the ball. Liverpool. Come on. Come on. I'm buzzing for this. 4-2. That is a massive, massive result. Much deserved as well. There's the stats there. We dominated the ball. We dominated the chances. Look at the passes there. We rarely get over 100 passes, to be honest. We've smashed out the park there. But that was always the game plan. The game plan was always to keep the ball and hope something comes up. Man of the match. I'm going to guess. I don't know. Jota. Jota had a great game. It was Jota. 8.7. Two goals, of course. And an assist as well. I love this team. In terms of managerial progress, we have done the bottom one within two seasons. Sign one youth player and play them in five games. So that will be Curtis, I believe. Financial... Listen, that never comes through. It never works. Win the league, we're still in there. Win the FA Cup, we're still in there. Champions League, we're still in there. Get 15 games, at least one goal scored in home matches. Yet yeah, with only three off and it's halfway through the season. We're looking good. I'm not going to lie. We're in a really good place at the moment. Next episode, I can see we've got Villa, but who else have we got in the live game? I don't know how many games I'm going to play in the live game. I'm thinking four or five. I'm thinking just spoil everyone. Aston Villa, Norwich in the Cup, Spurs in the league, Brentford in the league... We might even throw the Bayern Munich home leg in. I don't know. We'll see how things are looking. Um, I'm so excited, honestly. If you're enjoying this, make sure you leave it a like. Thank you all for being here as always. I'll see you later.